have both had the wonderful opportunity to go to the Hallmark headquarters in Kansas City to really see how the magic of Hallmark is made. We are going to share their experiences all week long, but today we are kicking it off with what Hallmark is most known for. They're cards. That's right. right? They're beautiful yeah. cards. You know, the whole trip was just, you know, amazing. I had gone last year with, with Paige, and I was very much looking forward to going back, but kind of nervous. Like, will it still have that same that's sort of like, wow. Magic. And it really does, you know, the, the fact that the Hall family has for over 100 years sort of brought together some mm -hmm. of the world's most amazing mm -hmm. artists, both in like visual arts, in, in fabrics, in writing. They're so it's, creative. It is so inspiring to be there, don't you it's think? It's a magical, and we keep saying the word magic, it's a magical place. It's so inspiration, yeah. inspirationing, and Inspiration. inspirational. <laughs> and the people there are incredible. The people making the cards, the artists, everybody there, it's truly a spectacular experience, and Hallmark cards are so iconic. I have cards that my grandpa gave me yes, for my whole so life true. that are Hallmark oh, cards. And so so it was her first time there, so she was just like, I love it I so much. It was yes. wonderful. It That's really all I kept like saying. Wonderland. It was wonderful. It so you two um, had different. Uh, you you. Um, we divided and conquered. You divided and conquered. You, you experienced two different aspects of how the cards are made. So let's start right. with you, Maria. Yes, exactly. Where the cards were made. I went to the Lawrence Production Factory where they actually make the cards. And what was so cool about this is I actually got to meet the people making the cards and it was just, it was a really special thing. Well, let's yeah. take a look. Whenever I see a Hallmark card, I'm amazed at the artistry and creativity that goes into each and every one of them. So when I arrived at the Hallmark plant in Lawrence, Kansas, I was so excited to see how these cards are brought to life. I am spoiling uh, several cards at one time on a large, Format. Okay. So today I'm actually doing about five or six cards on this one sheet right here. And each one of them is a different color of foil, so you really have to pay attention what's going on. In order to separate the cards, a custom cutting stamp is designed. And stacks of printed sheets are cut to the perfect shape. If the card isn't cutting properly, a little tape will fix the problem. Is right here? Right there. Is that good? Yeah. I just did something. The cut cards aren't finished just yet. The final touches sometimes require colorful glue and my favorite embellishment of all. That's a waterfall of glitter. <laughs> a short trip through the oven dries the adhesive. And it, it feels nice and crispy oh my and gosh. dry. And then it, it's, it's ready warm to right out of the oven. Before the card reaches our hands, it needs to be folded. Is that good? Good. Finally, for every card, there is a matching envelope that is cut and glued. When I think of the details that go into every card, it truly makes sending my season's greetings even more special. Oh, that is just, just amazing. Huge. Like, situation. And watching how you react there in that factory and seeing it is literally how I felt Watch, I mean, it's just awe-inspiring. It's, awe -inspiring. it's amazing yeah. how it all just kind of comes together, isn't it? It's fascinating. And I will say the people there were absolutely incredible. They love their jobs. They're just so kind. And I got to play and actually be a part of it. And I, like, putting tape on something, I was like, I just made a whole <laughs> I mean, I just made, it was part of the process. And so it was, like I said, it, it was truly being there it was a dream. I get emotional because it was truly dream come true. And you can see that the process is so intricate and spectacular for all these different ones. So you can see here, for instance, this is a die cut where it has all the different the buildings. You can see the different shapes and it just makes it really special and spectacular. This is flocking. Flocking is really fun because it's not, like it has like a smooth, almost like a velvet type of look there. We have a few like that. And uh, we have a foil one. The foil is what looks, uh, I think, really Fancy and metallic, yeah. you can see there. I love that. That was one of the ones that we showed, of course. So uh, you saw there what she was talking it. about with that. And then my favorite, my favorite one. The glitter? The flitter. Oh, the flitter. I know what you're <laughs> talking about so flitter. Sorry. What is flitter? Fine. Yeah. It's like extra, extra fine glitter. And it's oh. the best <laughs> glitter. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Oh, there was man. a waterfall of glitter, and then the um, you know, the people that were working in the, the glitter area are all covered in glitter. So it's like they leave home with a little bit of magic. Well, we've been emphasizing, you know, the actual making of the cards themselves, but the art that we speak of doesn't just begin in the factory. Of course, there's also an author. 
Yeah. Let's right. pick up those words, <laughs> right? the words that we mentioned earlier, the magical words right. that come on a Hallmark card, right, Ken? Right, so I went back to the Writer's Workshop where I'd been before, and you said it so well earlier, Debbie. It's like, you go to Hallmark and you have an emotion you want to, to tell someone, and you're like, I'm not gonna find it in the card. Right. And you always, always do find Hallmark. it. Yeah. And, and so I was very curious with them, like how they do that. And they were very honest with me. It's a very diverse group, um, older people, younger people, married with kids. And they're like, we draw from our personal, they have to be open. They have to draw from their personal experience, what has hurt them, what has made them happy, what they've loved, what they've lost. And they put it all out there. And then because, it makes it real. And it, when somebody out else that you're connecting with that yeah. author and their moment in life. Yeah. Well. Having read these cards, oh, that, that's, that's, so that makes sense to me. It makes such sense. Right. And let's have a look at your experience. So first we're gonna try some social media writing for the holidays. Oh wow, okay, great. Yeah. Everybody's so busy during this time of year. There's so much stress. What could we come up with that makes them remember to stop for a minute and think about the magic of the season? All right, pressure's on. <laughs> uh... So what do you, Melody, she just, she just finished giving the assignment. How do you already have one you cheated? Your road is at your desk. I'm neither confirmed nor denied. <laughs> <laughs> This is hard. All right, I just want everyone to know this is my number two. <laughs> and there are like 80 in there already. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Stockings, stuffed. Teddy bears, stuffed. Holiday tummies, extra stuffed. <laughs> yeah. When our hearts are bigger and our love is bolder, Christmas time has come. Oh, Aww. that's very wow. sweet. Really that was nice. a good one. It takes courage to believe in magic. It is also magic to have courage. That was mine. See, I'm a sappy person. <laughs> Peace falls around us as gently as snow. That's the beauty of Christmas. If you all have a very good way of putting words to emotions that people don't even know they're, they're having. Now, I'm gonna hand it over to Catherine to lead us yes. in some poetry. All right, yes. Cat, poetry. <laughs> a lot of our cards have compliments in them. So you're sweeter than peppermint, right like a bow. And then if we could finish, finish both that. of those lines. All right. Um, and practice your rhyming. All, and all right, I'm line. feeling good. Yeah. What, Malvina, no card in there already? <laughs> she just stopped talking. <laughs> That was fun. I started to write, but more just keeps yeah, coming, which yeah. does not happen to me with writing. Let's hear what you came up with. Yeah. You're sweeter than peppermint, bright like a bow. If anyone should, I ought to know. You've seen me through bad times, celebrated the good. You've given me joy like I know you would. So as we settle in soundly on this Christmas night, know that I love you and everything's right. Great. Oh, yeah. yeah, we don't need to read ours. Right. Oh, I want to hear. I want to hear. I'm like, uh. <laughs> 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 really beautiful. That was so beautiful. You know, people say Hallmark cards make you cry, and they really do. Well, it's because of being there with those people, and they were sharing stories of their lives and the things they've been oh. through and what they write. And I think there's also something about the medium of poetry yeah. that you just start to get lost in the words. Like, I was just there, and that yeah, stuff just... How did you just, come up with it? Where was that coming from? It just started to come up, and I started to think about my marriage and oh. you know, our family. And so the real emotion just starts, you know. Because we're not the only ones who were incredibly impressed with your work. As a matter of fact, the people at Hallmark we're so impressed with your work that one of the lovely ladies that you met there, Megan, has decided to fly out here and let you know just how impressed she was. Megan, Megan come, come on, on out. out. <laughs> 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 Thank you for having me, guys. Surprise okay, for you, Ken. Megan uh, has got so, a surprise for you, Ken. Go ahead. Yes, we were so impressed with how you just jumped right in and wrote with us that we took your poem and turned it into a card for you. So we made a card <laughs> with your poem, and it's just a nice little keepsake from us to, you know, to you to thank you for coming to visit and for spending time with us, and we really enjoyed it. So here's another thing, though. Let me show you. Oh, oh. I'm glad. I hope you love it. On the back, we've got the names of the two amazing artists that worked on this, and then also written by Ken. Oh my! So, for you, you actually wrote a Hallmark card. Ken. Oh my goodness! 
How much more, Megan, how much are you going to be charging for that one? Oh, my <laughs> God. This is just a one-of-a-kind, like... just for cash. Ah, look at that, and it's gorgeous. Beautiful. You know who's going to be so bitter about this? Paige. Paige. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Paige can do it next. so much. I'm like, my nose is running. I'm crying. Wow, this is what happens I mean, at Hallmark. It's a beautiful moment. Oh, Thank you. Take it all Thank in. You. Take it all in. So you need to frame that, Thank you, Megan, for being here, too. You need to frame that. Absolutely. That is so awesome. I would love to. Anytime you'll have me. You can frame your own holiday with the magic of Hallmark cards this season as well. All you have to do is visit hallmark.com and visit your local gold crown store. A lot of love's happening Absolutely. over there.